Matching hundreds. It's the coach. This is NFL football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a week ago. It'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the New York Giants. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. Kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. From up top, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles Davis, as always, with me as well. And CD, defenses better be on their toes in this one because we got two quarterbacks who love to throw the football, and they throw it very well. Over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you're prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This is fielded at the goal line. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Heading out to lead the Giants as he's done since 2004, Eli Manning. And his hold on the job, somewhat precarious coming into the year. But still, look, this is a two-time Super Bowl MVP and the franchise's all-time leader in passing yards and touchdown passes as well. fifth sack of the season. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now Manning. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And the starting offense now for the Giants. And the play of this offensive line is going to be so important in this game because we saw the sack a minute or so ago. They've got to be able to give their guy time to throw. That means communication and being physical is vital. Otherwise, this could be a long game. On third and long, it's Manning to Barkley on the check down. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll go with their leading rusher from the season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. 
Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork, knows that the plays are going to stay alive for a long time. Often will get two or three blocks on the same play. <laughs> From the 40 now on second down, Rodgers, and this is caught, it's Jimmy Graham. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop him? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Well, run it with Jones. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Second down, it's Jones. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. A look now at our starting defense. They're a unit that enters play way down, number 28 in the NFL right now against the run. And when people talk about facing a challenge, they are certainly getting one in this ball game because they're facing the number one rushing unit in the NFL, which means this is going to be a contest they've got to be prepared for from the first snap. Five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Rodgers now on first down. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Well, play number seven of this drive, and it's a tough third and nine. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And able to find Graham, complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, unless my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. 
This is taken at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, caught at the 21-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and make the offensive move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> first down, Giants on a pickup of 14. To throw, it's Manning. It's hauled in by Shepard. A gain of six there on first. A lot of people thinking that this could be a good year for Sterling Shepard to step out of the shadows of Odell Beckham Jr. But a season ago, pretty good for Sterling Shepard. 66 receptions, 872 yards, and now hoping for a 1,000-yard campaign in 2019. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. We'll take a look at the starters here defensively for the Packers. They were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Well, that was big right there because they're the bottom five in the league in converting that third down. They needed that pick up in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Zadarius Smith in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Damn, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. Throwing on third and long. Manning, and Ingram holds it in. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 36. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Manning, it's complete to Golden Tate. The numbers for Tate in last week's game. He was pretty prophetic. He said before that game, I want to get in the end zone often. He got there three times. Yeah, it's one thing to catch a lot of footballs. That is important, but it's what you do after the catch that can make you great. And he had a great game last week. We got four. We got four. On second down, here's Barkley. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive is a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got more. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Kyler Fackrell came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. That's three sacks now. That's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Another try after the first down sack. Manning. That'll be caught by Rodgers. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Working from the gun. Manning. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 13-yard line. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. Manning going to come up on first and ten. And he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. 
Franklin. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. On second down, Barkley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Set, ready? 15, one. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The Giants on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. Shotgun now for Manning. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And the kick by Rosas is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Remember with Rosas, there was some speculation last year in the preseason that he might not hold on to his job with the Giants. But he certainly answered the challenge, didn't he? 32 of 33 during the regular season. 97% that is. And was named to the NFC Pro Bowl team. And by the way, at 6'3", 234, he can bench press your kicker. Don't forget, later tonight, Sunday Night Football, we've got the Pats and the Texans from NRG Stadium in Houston. And then tomorrow night, Monday Night Football, it's supposed to be really cold up in Seattle as we've got the Vikings and the Seahawks from CenturyLink Field at 8.15 Eastern. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. On second and seven, Rodgers nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Alec Ogletree able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now, how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike, big Mike. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Now Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So they looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But I also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, people say bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Give him three yards there on the first down pickup. A first down carry for Barkley. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. 
One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, this pass made me look fat, and he said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Take it in at the 22. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. But on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. <laughs> On second down now, it's Jones. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not have to block more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The Packers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. It's always a goal that's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Here's a look at Golden Tate as he heads back onto the field now. You would have to think they're going to make it more of a priority to get him the football. You're losing here in the second quarter, and he's been really quiet. I think all we have to do, and it's too bad we can't actually see the actual play sheet now from the coordinator, because he's looking down at that and saying, OK, do I put him in different spots? Do I try and isolate him? What routes do I run? You're exactly right. They've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick-started. He does have the two catches, but pretty quiet so far. To throw on second and 10. Manning, it's a shepherd on the catch. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Manning. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Manning going to hand it off to Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber 
to a guy who can complete every he can play. hit him underneath now, yeah, can't Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defense. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Zadarius Smith, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they said that this guy does not lie, and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. Well, that's something we saw over and over again in Barkley's rookie season. He had 91 catches last year, most ever by a rookie running back. Part of a fantastic rookie campaign that saw him go over 2,000 total yards. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Dean Lowry, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And yeah, taken right at the 35. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Devontae Adams in the Packer offense heading back out. Second quarter here. He has only one catch, but they have the lead. You got to think there's going to be more involved at some point. That's what you would expect, but sometimes what defenses do to take away a player of his magnitude, it costs them in other areas. And right now, with them losing, they may have to change their focus, and maybe he will open up a little bit more as the game goes on. Well, so far, just the single catch. Second down, it's Jones. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of Blitzen during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. Once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. Nine yards on the pick up there as they'll be left with third and one. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defense so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Julian Love, the rookie from Notre Dame. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You saying that's going into the trophy case? I put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. 
The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, Manning. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now Manning. He's got his man. This is Tate. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been terrific so far. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Boy, the numbers throwing the football just not trending in the right direction. Last week, he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through. He knows one of those tough guys that has to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. 27 yards there, a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Rodgers to throw once more. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Trent Taylor, the one he was looking for, but it'll be second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Rodgers again now. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, moved the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. 
What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room. Start over. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13. So let's get an update on what's going on. And just like that, on we head to half number two. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. Come on, baby. Let's go. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you're all looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now Rodgers. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Man open. That's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Rodgers now just 8 of 16 thus far, 50%, but it's first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity. To come. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And the Packers pick it up. The big fella. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Now Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is taken at the three. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Oh, 
on second and 15 now. Manning, that's complete left side to Shepard. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing now is Manning. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander, and he'll return it to the 24-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Well, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. This is caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. To throw, it's Rodgers. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And a key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And our players' spotlight now as we turn our attention. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Mike Daniels in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Faking the give to Barkley, now Manning. It's hauled in by Shepard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action, Manning. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Zadarius Smith make that now eight sacks for him on the season. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted, and you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Looking to 
throw on second down. Rodgers got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now a first down carry by Jones. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. You know how we get focused at the end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, stand in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Touchdown! Aaron Jones with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Crosby with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive, four plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll run it again with Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Throwing on first down is Manning. Looking sideline incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram to tight end. But it'll be second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again. Manning. They'll complete this to Ingram is tight end. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no yardage. Okay. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The one with the dime look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. will be fairly That's clear by the time we have to leave the booth. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. The last run got six. Now second and four. Again, it's Jones. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. 
This time they played their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And Adams has it, complete. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Well, that second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and 40 now. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. The Packers on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time it's third and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Incomplete. Both players were there offensively and defensively, but it falls incomplete. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Nailing into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Josh Jackson. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead will swell by one more. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Manning to try again after the pick six. Got it complete to Rodgers. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards, good for a giant first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Throwing is Manning. He completes it to Tate. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. <laughs> to throw, it's Manning. That one caught by Ellison. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. 
If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence for reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care about throwing 10 interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Josh Jackson. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because uh -huh. here we are season in December, of giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They'll go again to Jones, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third and ten now. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Packers on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and ten. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And able to find Graham, complete. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. On first down, Jones. B.J. Goodson there on the tackle. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And that's complete to Adams. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 14. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> that's all they care about right now. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. 
through the goal line, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage to try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. <laughs> on play action, it's Rodgers. on the left side. This is Valdez Scantlin. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez Scantlin, his fourth touchdown on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that once he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Shotgun now for Manning. Rodgers brings it in. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Working from the gun, Manning. He's got his man. This is Tate. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Packers. Just a fantastic punt return of 80 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, it certainly feels like that kind of game, doesn't it? No matter what they do, it's going to work. That might be the absolute crusher right there. A punt return for a touchdown. Feels like there's been a lot of crushers in this game. This lead just gets bigger. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now out come the Giants. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right, right here? The punter doesn't right. exist, guys. He doesn't even yeah. exist. He's not a team anymore. Right? And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Blake Martinez. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. He's now thrown four interceptions, and I hate to mention this, but he's a guy that has twice thrown five in his career in a single game. Hard to believe, isn't it? And the tough part is, playing in this NFL, you don't normally just back off totally from throwing the football, do you? So the potential exists for that fifth one to occur. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. 
And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run on first down. Jones. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And he finds his tight end, Graham. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Rogers looking to throw. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> can stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going, but it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. Now Rodgers. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Oh boy, rubbing a little salt in the wound there going for two up this big. You know, there's one time when I played, Brandon, and played against a team that was just absolutely pile driving us. And they ended up going for two late in the game. And I asked one of the guys, why'd you do that? He said, because we wanted to win by more. That feels like that type of situation. Wow. Well, it could also result in a melee later, though. We, got this. we focus our attention on the Green Bay defense as they head out. They have played a really good game. They're just looking for one final stop here and celebrate this victory. And if you're on offense, you don't want them to have that satisfaction. You know that you're not going to win the game. But you don't want them to roll over those big grins on their faces. So you want to come up with something right here, some type of a big play to dent that good mood. And they'll be trying to not let that dent happen and go home happy. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. From the gun, it's Manning. And that will be incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And that will come the offense as they take over. The game's gone final in Indianapolis. And it was the Titans who were able to take home the victory. Marcus Mariota, three touchdown passes to help lead the way. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Rodgers throwing here. The connection made, it's Graham. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages.
field. Here's Rodgers. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, and that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now a play fake. Rodgers. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Trent Taylor. His second touchdown on the season as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side, is, hey, do something about it. Stop it. No, I guarantee you, I know it was really excited fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. One final try now for Manning. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Green Bay, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they fall to 6-6 six six now on the campaign. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles.